Um, 13, 13, 13 is what I said. And basically 13, 13, 13 is um, what is the standard quote, all purpose fertilizer. You'll go and you'll see 10, 10, 10. It's the three numbers on a fertilizer bag, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. And I always say 10, 10, 10 or 13, 13, 13, meaning 13% nitrogen, 13% phosphorus, and 13% potassium. That's what's in the bag, the percentages of it. The reason you don't want to throw that out is, is because simply if you have a phosphorus toxicity. So we have now at Soil Kit developed a threshold of phosphorus. So here's what happens in, in the phosphorus when you get a soil report with Soil Kit. You have zero to a certain amount of pounds, that's a deficiency. So you are given the deficiency recommendation that basically you're thirsty for phosphorus. You get that recommendation. Then there's a small little threshold that we call a maintenance level where you have an okay amount of phosphorus, but we're gonna give you a maintenance level because we know you're gonna plant a garden or you know the grass is gonna need some phosphorus. So we have a maintenance level here. But when you reach about, uh, some have a discrepancy between four to 600 pounds per acre of phosphorus. If you go and plant something, the phosphorus is actually burning the roots. It's actually making it a subprime quality. It is actually harming the phosphorus, what you think is good. And you want phosphorus and plants need phosphorus. Your soils already have it there. Our job at Soil Kit is to utilize what is there or make it available. So let's say the pH is too low or too high and that phosphorus is just not available. We adjust something else. And like dad said, there is a global shortage of phosphorus. So when you have lime at $4 a bag, $5 a bag, and you've got phosphorus that's kind of becoming a limited quantity, as well as it's harmful to the environment, it's more important that we identify exactly the nutrients that your soil needs versus just blindly putting all of the nutrients out because you figure to yourself, I'll just put it all out. That way it's there if they need it. That actually can literally in turn burn the roots of the plant. So that's why we find it so important that we really get diagnostic with the soil health and conditions and what the crop species needs rather than just going out and throwing a bag of fertilizer out. As a rule, Christina, phosphate is the center number, the one in the center. Yes. It's yes. 13, 13, 13, the center one is phosphate. It will only move about an inch per year yep. in the soil profile. Where the first number and the last number, nitrogen and potassium, they tend to leach down further. So what happens is, is this phosphate continues to build up. And when it builds up, everything gets out of balance. It's, it's, all, it's, it's, it's not good for the environment when it's out of balance. Air, all of these things are critical to the health of the plant and even to our own bodies. We, we draw in our nutrients from the soil through the plants and that's the best form of all your minor elements, your vitamins, everything. It comes really right out of the plants. And the farmers try to keep all that in balance in the soil. So if it's a head of cabbage, Typically, it, it consumes a lot more calcium and magnesium. Potatoes, a red potato or a table potato, it's going to have, it's going to need more phosphorus. So you're going to get your phosphorus from that crop. And then your bananas, you're going to get your potassium from that. And so each crop has its special needs. And that's how we, as we eat these things, they become part of our balanced nutrition. So if you look at it from a balanced nutrition for the farm and for the vegetables and for the food we eat, your lawn is exactly the same way. It's you want a balance out there. So your lawn is just like, oh, we're, we're living off the vegetables and everything. It's living off the nutrients in the soil. You just don't want it out of balance. So also I have a blog article that I'm about to post. It's about too high and too low of phosphorus. And just so you know, when you have to, not only does it burn the actual plant and the roots, too much phosphorus and the plant begins to burn, just like I said. And it causes, just like dad said, it causes other problems. It causes other deficiencies, such as the iron and the, and the zinc, simply because they become trapped and unusable. Uh, usable. So it kind of goes back into too much of a good thing can be a bad thing, which is why yeah. it's so important to do exactly what the plant needs.